from SDR Control for ICOM Users Group Facebook page. I'm one of the admins over there, and a question that I see that comes in uh, quite often is folks are wanting to get SDR Control uh, and Grid Tracker working together. And so I thought maybe I would just go through and show my setups, uh, my settings and my setup, and uh, how I get it to work. So that way, if you're trying to get yours working, you can you can see. Um, from what I understand, Grid Tracker uh, needs a UDP packet to communicate uh, with, and SDR Control does not do that or provide that. You have to get it from another program. The main one most folks use is WSJTX, um, and so that'll do FT8 and other other uh, modes for you in there. But I also want to walk through my settings real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and shut everything down real fast, except for um, my uh, my SDR control. I am using an ICOM 705. I am connected wirelessly to the unit. So that may have a little bit of bearing on, on how exactly your connections may be set up. But this is what works for me. And uh, I'll kind of go through it. So there's two areas in uh, SDR control that you have to kind of pay attention to. The first, you want to make sure your CAT server is uh, enabled. And so um, you click on that. Uh, the type that you want to have is rig control slash hamlib. Uh, I know there's ICOM and Kenwood that you can pick, you know, from there, but that's the one you want to pick there. And I think the port will automatically populate, populate to 5001 or 5001. Um, I enable mine to start uh, when I start the app just because it doesn't affect anything else, um, even if you're just gonna go into regular voice mode or anything like that. Um, and then you'll see your IP address for your network you know, populate down here. The second is making sure that your virtual audio cables are set correctly. And I use Loopback. I had a hard time getting uh, some of the free virtual audio cable programs to work for me. Once I, I did uh, Loopback's trial, Everything connected up right away, so I kind of went back, you know, to that. Um, if you do go into the user's manual, and there's a note in there that Marcus put it put into about contacting him, and I think you can save like the 15 or 25 percent off on a license for Loopback because it's not a cheap program in there. But I found that it worked for me. And so, in the manual, he talks about some of the naming conventions of you know how you should set up uh, your your virtual audio cables. Um, I have mine set to for my output device uh, radio to external um, and then my input device i think in the manual he says label it external to radio so that way you know to pick but i have other you know other cables in here so i kind of just use the, the program name but you want to have your your virtual audio cables set up and working um, and then those are the settings that i carry uh, with that so for sdr control that's really the only settings that you have to do uh, for that one to get going now let's launch into WSJTX real quick. So let's open that. And because I've got my setup going here, um, normally if it wasn't communicating with the radio, you would see you know some red. Uh, you wouldn't be able to click on monitor. It wouldn't you know you wouldn't see your waveform or your waterfall begin to populate. But I'll show you the settings that I have in in my configuration. So. Uh, you know, immediately you can see you can jump around to the different bands if you want. You got rig control uh, and everything. I can call CQ here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and monitor. Um, we'll do 40 meters since it's uh, since it's in the darkness here. But um, go over to your preferences, and there's three um, three tabs you want to look at uh, for here. Uh, this is just your general tab. I don't really think anything affects the communication between the software on here, but these are the check marks that I have, and this is what works for me. I'm able to make uh, pretty much uh, FT8 calls at will and not have any issues uh, with that. Um, this is probably one of the more important tabs here. Now for RIC control, again, I cannot remember where I was told to select this. I think it's because I'm connecting wirelessly. But I know there's other ICOM radios on here that it says that you can communicate with. Um, I think if you're going wirelessly to your radio, uh, you know, select that one. Give them both a try. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but uh, you know, you, this will enable you to communicate with SDR control. And then the rest of the settings, um, again, are what I've been either advised in the forums 
or, uh, or you know, on the page or what I read uh, elsewhere. And again, it, everything's all worked good for me. You can t hit your test for your cat button if you're adjusting settings as you go. Um, if it's not working, this will highlight red. If it is working, it'll highlight green. Uh, I can see that we're good right now. Sometimes it gets a little wonky when you click it if everything's working, so I don't want to mess anything up right now. Um, and then on your audio, your audio is actually opposite of, of what you would have for your SGR control software. So again, just you know, name it something that you know that it needs to be, but um, you know that you can identify where the audio is coming from and going to, and then you'll be able to get it set up for that. And other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, this UDP server section, I'm pretty sure this was populated already. And there was no adjustments that needed to be made here, but this is where Grid Tracker will look to communicate with uh, WSJTX. You know, once once it launches, and everything else is just the same uh, in here. So let's go ahead and launch Grid Tracker now, and you'll see. Grid Tracker begin to populate, it'll begin to pull in your log data, uh, pull in live data. Um, it'll begin to, um, you know, take the information from the band activity over here, plot it out on the, um, uh, on the display. You can actually call CQ from here, uh, you know, uh, click on call signs, and everything will begin to work from, uh, from that section. From what I recall, Grid Tracker just worked when I had my WSJTX uh, settings done correctly. The one area that if you're having issues is under the general page one. That's where you'll see um, the ports that uh, the UDP ports that you know you could configure in uh, in here. And so if you come over to reporting, you'll see that that two two three seven is where uh, it's getting its UDP information from. So really, once all those are set up and good to go, you're, uh, you should be in business. You should start seeing data begin to populate. Um, you can use, you know, you can call CQ from here. You can call from, from the list that comes in. Um, once I actually get tuned up and get everything set up, uh, I control my uh, ALC from the SDR control. Um, I think you can control the volume coming out of your radio um, you know, into the program two different ways. You can use this power slider right here to do that, or you can control your ALC by clicking on the IC705 settings over here. Um, and then I just slide this LAN input gain up and down until I got my ALC in the correct area for it. Also, I kind of dial back a little bit my uh, volumes in the uh, virtual audio cable. That way it just gives me a little bit more room because it's very sensitive to... Um, to uh, get a good signal out so there's no splatter or anything like that. So other than that, you know, again, this setup works for me, works for my setup. I'm using ICOM 705 connecting wirelessly, and uh, I'm on a, uh, an M1 iMac, and I um, find that this, uh, this works out really good, displays beautifully, and, um, and is a lot of fun to work. I know that the regular FT8 program is resident in... Um, in uh, SDR control, but sometimes, you know, I like to look at the map, the map, uh, grid tracker maps as well too. And um, I just let WSJTX run in the background. So, okay, well, I hope this helps some folks out who are trying to get it set up. If you have questions or if you're having issues, go ahead and post a comment here or post one over on the Facebook group. Uh, folks are extremely helpful there and they'll be able to get you on and set up and get you, uh, calling uh, calling FT8 or or whatever on uh, on grid tracker at no time so again this has been j 73s and I'll see you the next one